Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is uh, Sechamba Jacob. All right, so in today's video, we'll be looking at uh, uh, a speed time graph exam question. This question came in 2019, paper one. All right, so here's the question. We've been given uh, the, 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 the speed time graph over here. And then the question, they have said uh, the car starts from uh, rest and accelerates uniformly at uh, 2 meters per second squared. So this is acceleration. Let me start underlining important point. So this is important, 2 meters per second uh, for t seconds. So for t seconds, it's also important until it reaches a speed of 16. Okay, this is also important, 16 meters per second. Uh, it then traveled travels at 16 meters per second for 40 seconds also important uh, after which it comes to rest in a in a, in a further uh, 10 seconds so these are important points all right so uh, the first question they say find find the value find the value find the value of t so if you can see nicely, the diagram over here has T here. There is T. And we need to find the value of T. So how are we going to find the value of T? We'll follow what has been said in the, in the question. Here they have said acceleration was what? Uh, 2 meters per second. So when the car started from this point, going up to somewhere here, uh, it... Uh, it accelerates or the acceleration was 2 meters per second per second squared So what we're going to do is we use the formula for acceleration so acceleration is equal to uh, Final velocity minus initial velocity over time. All right, so The acceleration here we've been given it's the 2 meters. We know that it moved 2 meters per second So 2 meters per second is supposed to be uh, somewhere here here supposed to be 2 meters per second 2 meters per second squared so that's the acceleration so we we'll say 2 meters okay per second is the acceleration we write it here is equal to initial velo uh, final velocity velocity here is 16 meters per second minus initial velocity which is 0 over time we are calculating time so we can solve here uh, it will look like this 16 minus uh, sorry 16 over t because if you say 16 minus uh, 16 minus 0 is 16 we can now cross multiply we solve for t 2t is equal to 16 we divide by 2 divide by 2 the value of t will be equal to uh, 2 into 16 is 8 seconds so it's 8 seconds so here supposed to be 80 seconds so we have found the value of t which is 8 seconds and then the other question says find the uh, distance traveled question b find the distance traveled in the last 50 this is 50 seconds so in the last 50 seconds what is the distance so last 50 seconds, because this is eight, uh, first eight seconds. So from here to here, uh, uh, in the question, they said, if you're able to see, they said, after, okay. Let me let me let me let me let me. It then traveled at 16, okay, meters per second for 40 seconds. So from here, when it reached here. It moved to here for 16 uh, meters per second. That's, uh, I mean, for, 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 for 40 minutes, which is 16 meters per second. From here to here, the velocity here is 16 meters per second. And here they said for 40 uh, seconds. So 40 seconds from here to here is 40 seconds. If we add from here to here, it's supposed to be 48 seconds. Okay, since here, from here to here is 40. So from here to here is supposed to be uh, 8 and from here to here 8 plus 40 which is 48 seconds so the 48 seconds 
we know that it traveled for 8 seconds. So what we we'll, what we'll do for us to find the distance, we'll, we'll, we'll get these shapes, but we don't know what time it was or it is here, the time it came to rest. Uh, in the question, they have said, after which it comes to rest in a feather, 10 seconds. So from here to here, it's 10 seconds. If this is 48, this will be 58. So uh, 48 plus 10 seconds, it will be 58. So we know that from here to here, it's 50. And from here to here, it's 58. And they have said in the last 50 seconds. So the last, the first, the first 8 seconds from here, so the last, it's this side, 50 seconds. So we use the shape of a trapezium. So for us to find distance, we we'll say half. This is the formula for finding area of a trapezium. This is the formula. So distance will be equal to, here it will be 1 over 2. A will be the distance from here to here. What is, what is the distance from here to here? It's 40. We know that it's 40. Plus the distance from here to here, it's 50 times the height from here to here what's the height it's 16 so we can say this into this is what it's 8 we add what is inside here 40 plus 50 it's 90 times 8 which is outside so what is uh, 90 times uh, 8 90 times uh, 8 supposed to be 720 so the distance here is uh, 720 meters we go to the last question the last question they wanted us to find is speed okay speed of the car when time is uh, 53 so this is 48 so 53 must be somewhere here so this is 53 that's where 53 must be so what we're going to do, what we're going to do here is we're going to use the idea of uh, uh, similarity, okay? Similarity is the idea we're going to use. So we'll get this shape over here. Let me put it here. We get this shape from here. We know here it's 48 seconds and here it's what? 58. Here. It's where 53 seconds is here. They have said when time is 53. And we know from, from, from here, the distance or the velocity is 16 okay? meters per second. So what we'll do is we're going to find the, the, the difference here. The difference here and the, the entire thing here. So what is the... What is the distance or what is time from here from here to here what is the time difference from here to here we know that from this to this point it's supposed to be 10 seconds from here to here it's 10 seconds and from here to here it's a uh, it's what it's a uh, it's supposed to be uh is it five yeah five seconds five seconds we just say for example, this 10 seconds, the way I found it, I said 58 minus 48. I find 10 seconds from here to here. And from here to here, or here to here, I'll say 58 minus 53. It's 5 seconds. So we know we have the side of the smaller triangle, which is uh, 5 seconds, and the bigger triangle, which is 10 seconds. This side, we have the side of the bigger triangle, which is 16. And here we don't have which is x. So we solve for x. Once we solve for x, it means we found a speed. So now for us to solve for x, it will be, it will be, we, we, we are using the idea of uh, similarity. Similarity is here. So x uh, 16 over x. This x, 16 over x. The sides are similar, this and this. And then here, this side for the bigger triangle is similar to the side for the smaller triangle. So we'll say is equal to 10, which is for the bigger triangle, over 5. So this 5 can go into 10. How many times? 2 times. So we'll say, we'll solve for x here. We'll cross multiply. 
So x times 2 is 2x, which is equal to 10 times 1, it's 10. I mean, sorry, 16 times 1. 16 times 1 is 16. You divide by 2, divide by 2, x is equal to what? To 8 meters per second. 8 meters per second. So the velocity, so the answer here is 80 meters per second. And then the distance here is 7, 720 meters. Then t, the value of t is what? 80 seconds. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can do your request on this number uh, 0969175701. You can do your request and I'll be able to send you the solutions. Thank you very much.